I am curious uh, what you think, uh, not only about the pretty dramatic pullback we've seen in the price of Bitcoin since uh, that peak earlier this month, but also what you think about continuing to uh, add to your to your pile, why doing so right now made sense. Well, you know, Bitcoin's it's not volatile to investor with a one to four year time frame because it's boringly spectacular for the past decade. It's up 200 percent or more pretty much on average every year for 10 years running. It's volatile for traders, but traders like volatility. So they're getting the volatility they like. It's attracting a lot of capital in the asset class. Um, I think it's having a stellar year and 2021 is going to be really good for Bitcoin. Michael, it's Guy. Thanks for being here. You know, typically I would say you have to be a rocket scientist from MIT to understand this, but you happen to be exactly that. So I'm going to ask you this <laughs> question. Um, you're basically, first of all, I admire your temerity. I admire your passion about this. I truly do. And obviously it's reflected in your stock price. But how do the employees of the company feel about this? Because this is a huge bet in a lot of ways on the future of your company. Well, you know, when Google and Facebook and Amazon and Apple came out and they launched their digital networks and when the Internet came along and it was a new digital network for information, people weren't quite sure if they should embrace them. But I think 30 years later, companies that know how to use the Internet and know how to work with Apple and, and Google and Facebook and social networks are, are the leading edge companies and they're winning. Our, our employees are pretty delighted that we're pioneers in, in commercializing and integrating with this digital monetary network because this is going to be the future. And so I'm not going to ask you to play, you know, stock market as we typically do. But what, what's your what's the best case scenario for the price of Bitcoin? Like, what are you looking for? What are you planning? Because I would imagine it, at some point this has to come up on the earnings call, which I believe is within a week or so from now. Well, look, I mean, Bitcoin's a digital monetary network and the asset itself is the technically superior asset. Uh, it's 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 uh, the ideal institutional safe haven asset. So what's the future? The future is it for the flip gold. It's going to replace gold. And then after it replaces gold, it's going to become the monetary index that replaces stock indexes like the S&P 500, the Dow, the bond indexes and the like, because people that want to store their money, they want a safe haven store of value over the next 10 to 30 years are going to be attracted to a digital asset that has no inflation in it. Yeah, and I think you yourself in the past have basically said that your P&L is a software company, your balance sheet is invested in, in Bitcoin, though. Um, that being said, the stock is moving. Whichever way Bitcoin goes on a daily basis, the stock is moving right along with it. It's almost become a stock market proxy uh, for crypto. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, corporations everywhere in the world that are cash rich, they're looking at their cash and they're saying cash is a liability. They have to find an asset that's going to appreciate faster than the rate of monetary expansion. So I think what's, what you're going to see this year is corporations are going to embrace Bitcoin either on their balance sheet like we have because it converts a liability into an asset or they're going to do what Square and PayPal and Grayscale have done. And they're going to build Bitcoin into their products and services because you're talking about them all the time. Their stocks are going up. Grayscale's from $2 billion to $20 billion in assets under management in 12 months. There's a reason why they have differentiated their products and their services with uh, a big tech monetary network that's exploding at 200% a year. I think it's going to continue for the decade. And, uh, you know, everybody with cash has that opportunity. So I think our employees are delighted, our shareholders are delighted, and, and I think you're gonna see an avalanche of new companies uh, do the same thing, either on their balance sheet or on their P&L. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.